Greetings everyone and a massive g'day from myself here in Australia. For those of you who don't know me, I'm David Fox. Many of you do know me uh, via Caleb Morpin's videos. I am one of the moderators there. I'm also one of the biggest supporters of CBI here in Australia. Currently, myself and a few other comrades uh, are studying the book Out of the Movement to the Masses. And it's going quite well, with good general discussion, and we're related to conditions here in Australia. Well, other things we need to be related to, as you're very well aware, as I'm currently videoing this, our, the global economy is now in a spiral downward. Uh, obviously, yesterday we had reports there's been over $100 billion wiped off the Australian economy alone, or Australian Stock Exchange. And it's going to have a lot of long-term ramifications on ordinary working people here. With the cost of living, uh, the cost of uh, petrol, uh, and many other uh, and many other costs that put the burden back onto ordinary working people, such as myself, but many others, uh, is get, is for the long term for us is going to be a very long and hard, tedious struggle. And no doubt it's going to be the same there in America as well. And obviously we've got a lot in common. Uh, especially now in the sense with where, where the economy is going, our living standards dropping. Uh, we too here in Australia are heading forwards, uh, towards a low wage police state. There's been current attacks on a militant uh, union, the construction division of the construction, forestry, maritime employees union. And, and obviously now there's been federal court applications to take it into administration role because due to allegations of corrupt and unsavoury characters involved in a very effective union. Now, there might possibly be involved uh, allegations of corruption. However, this is uh, actually opening the way to allow other unions, such as my own union, the Australian Manufacturing Workers Union, formerly the Old Metal Workers Union, uh, to be attacked as well and replicate what the Nazis did in uh, Germany prior to World War II and and turn the unions into the labour front. This is going to have detrimental effect on all workers, not just in the construction sector, but everywhere else. Maritime, manufacturing, mining, you name it, that's going to have the de very decimating effect on uh, workers' wages and conditions as well. But more so than just wages and conditions, it's also a general working class organisation. I've myself uh, been involved in unions, so no doubt some of you are well aware that I was a union organiser. Uh, I think you guys call it a labour organiser. And I'm uh, back on now working as a boilermaker welder on the Westgate Tunnel project. Uh, today I, I could not have filmed this earlier because I, have, I was at work, quite busy at the moment, and on a major infrastructure uh, project in Melbourne. Now. What we're seeing um, over all the attacks on workers here in this country uh, and are also around the world is nothing new. But the thing is, capitalism, imperialism is now in a deep and deep crisis. And all like, and what they're looking at to do besides wars, which we're seeing escalating in the Middle East and elsewhere, uh, it's going to drag us into it. And the first thing, people they attack is working class people, and we're seeing this around the world worldwide. And we need to have common unity. And I think it's very I think it's actually a very fine thing and a very good thing it, if both Australian and American workers are united. We are in the same struggle together. I believe you guys are in the belly of the beast, but we over here in Australia are obviously, obviously under the dominance of Anglo-American finance. Uh, based out of mainly Wall Street and London to a certain degree and it dominates every aspect of our lives. So our struggle against it is your struggle as well and vice versa. I hope to actually we have all points of unity uh, and more united actions over the upcoming years. But certainly as things escalating around the planet at the moment uh, and I've just touched on what the Middle East, I think if we if the if it does escalate to a major war, I tell you now, Australia will just come to a grinding halt within a week or two. And because we haven't got the ability and the efficiency, any of the industry to support ourselves during any type of armed conflict at all. Our oil supply will run out very quickly. We do not even produce our own oil, we import it. Uh, and we've only got two active oil refineries left, so you could just imagine what will happen the country shuts down within two weeks and you can see societal breakdown as well. So 
I won't get into that because I'm going right off track here. But look, I also want to say congratulate the Centre of Political Innovation for the great work your comrades are doing. You do an excellent work. It's inspirational stuff. Uh, yourselves and with Caleb Morpin uh, leading it. Uh, I've known Caleb for a few years now. We've got him as a good friend. And I think you guys are doing a, a astronomical a lot of good work, especially under certain very difficult conditions. But keep it up. You're doing great. It's going to be tough. We're up a very tough road up ahead of us, and I'm not going to pull any punches here. It's not going to be good at all for. Uh, it's not looking good for a lot of ordinary people out there at the moment. But do not spare. I think if we stick to your guns, stick to the fundamental line, and you can't go wrong. I wish, as I said, solidarity from here from Australia. I wish you all the best. Um, I'm hoping to get to the US. I know I promised uh, last year to be here this year, and of course there were circumstances out of my control. Uh, but I do really need to get, I mean, am trying to endeavour to pay a visit next year. That's if the country would let me in, but which will be very interesting to see if that happens. I believe that be all good to come in, and I won't get into that as well. So I want to say for the moment, stick to what you're doing. You're doing a great job, and I'm going to round this off. Dare to struggle, dare to win. If you don't fight, you lose. Keep up the great work, comrades.